Determine whether the series is convergent or divergent. Let's find out the limit of a sub n as n approaches infinity. This right here is our a sub n. So now what we have is the following. The limit of a sub n as n approaches infinity is equal to the limit of n minus 1 over 8 n minus 1 as n approaches infinity. And we could do this in different ways. Notice that we have the same degree if you look at it as functions. And the leading coefficient is 1 on top, and the leading coefficient is 8 at the bottom side with the same degrees, first degree, first degree. So the limit will end up 1 over 8. But to do it in steps, we have the following. Equals the limit of n minus 1 over 8n minus 1 and we will divide everything by n top and bottom side as n approaches infinity this will equal to the limit as n approaches infinity of 1 minus 1 over n, 8 minus 1 over n. As n approaches infinity, this will go to 0, and this will go to 0. So we have the limit is equal to 1 over 8. 1 over 8, which is clearly not equal to 0. Therefore, the series is diverges or divergent. It diverges by the test for divergence. Divergence. Let's go over this uh, quick as an overview. So we have a theorem that says if the series summation from n equals 1 to infinity of a sub n is convergent, then the limit of a sub n equals to 0. And also we know that the test for divergence says the following. If the limit of a sub n, the terms, does not exist, or if the limit of a sub n does not equal to 0, which in our case it was equal to 1 8, then the series is divergent. The, this is a sub n, this is a sub n, and we found that the limit of a sub n as n approaches infinity is equal to 1 over 8 and that was not equal to 0. So this is what we have. Then the series is divergent. And that is what we have. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.